I yield myself uh, two minutes to, to thank my friend from, from Florida for, for, uh, for laying out exactly what the case is that needs to be made today. It just so happens all of those spending priorities that the gentleman from Florida mentioned are spending priorities I share. Investments in education, investments in roads and bridges, investments in cutting-edge research that makes a difference in people's lives not just in terms of treatments, but in terms of cures. But in the absence of crystal clear budgeting, in the absence of the reforms that we have proposed here today, the $5 trillion that the Budget Committee passed budget proposes to reduce from federal spending over the next 10 years is exactly the same as the interest that that very same budget proposes to pay over the next 10 years. I want you to hear that, Mr. Speaker. <clears throat> Every single reduction in spending that the gentleman just laid out is necessitated because dollar for dollar we are wasting those uh, same receipts on paying the debts that previous Congresses have racked up. And that is a Budget Committee passed budget. The President's budget, Mr. Speaker, proposes to spend $6 trillion over the next 10 years on interest alone. Interest alone. Mr. Speaker, by not taking responsibility today, not only are we mortgaging our children's future by piling these debts on them, we're trading away opportunities to make a difference in their future because those dollars that we're sending to the Chinese who lend us the money and to the Chinese who lend us the money, the money that we're sending to pay our debts is money that we could be spending on those shared investment priorities uh, that the gentleman from Florida and I uh, have in common. With that, Mr. Speaker, I'd like to yield.